Hello, welcome to my channel. I wanted to do an introduction to do-it-yourself water filters for people because sometimes there's flooding or something happens and maybe your water is not drinkable or um, there's something wrong with your water and you, you can't drink it because it's contaminated and you have to because we go through that in our area and some of the and several of the cities surrounding our area where the water is just not drinkable and I don't know if it's because of the flooding in the area or what the reasons are and then when you go to buy um, water filters some of them are rather expensive. So I thought, well, you know, maybe people are interested in... Plus, when you go to get a water filter for your whole house, those are really expensive. And if you're on a tight budget like we are. So I thought, well, I'll do an introduction. Because when you go online trying to find information about water filters, the it's... It's a lot of studying, and some of the words are hard to understand. So I thought, well, we'll just do an introduction. Because there's zeolite. I don't know if you've ever heard that, where you can get the zeolite blend, and it talks about what that is. So um, it says it removes toxic ammonia and impurities for sparkling fish safe water so I don't know if that's something you would want in your drinking water or not but that's just something for you to be able to look up to see what it is to notice that because it's ideal for new aquariums so maybe you're looking at this for aquariums or drinking water I'm not sure and it says does zeolite remove ammonia and this says zeolite addition has been used successfully in freshwater systems to decrease ammonia concentrations and tox toxicity for several decades. However, zeolite in marine systems has been used less because ions in the seawater interfere with zeolite's ability to absorb ammonia. So let's see what it says, if it says anything about zeolite. for drinking water. Zeolite seven pounds. Um, zeolite is a non-toxic three-dimensional porous crystalline hydrated with natural absorbent and ion exchange properties, which removes harmful microbes, as well as dispersed insoluble and soluble toxins from drinking water. And then it has images. So you can look this up to see if that's something that you would want or not. And I would, like I said, this is just an introduction. So I would recommend that you do a, more studying than just what I'm showing you here. Okay, and then we have something called active carbon charcoal pellets that you can buy in bulk. And they have different, it says we carry a large inventory of activated carbon and activated charcoal, coconut shell, coal, wood, granular. So you might want to look into that to see if it's something you would need in your area or, like I said, you would want to do a lot more studying. Is activated carbon pellets the same as activated charcoal? The activated charcoal is the same thing as activated carbon, with both of these words being synonymous with one another. Thus, if someone says activated charcoal or activated carbon, they are speaking of the same filtration process. What is activated carbon charcoal used for? Activated charcoal is commonly used to treat poisoning. It is also used for high cholesterol, hangovers, and upset stomach. Well, I've never, I didn't know that. Um, which is better, a charcoal or a carbon filter? As a rule, activated carbon is pure and of better quality than activated charcoal. Activated charcoal can be used as a filter, and it is certainly greatly preferable to not filtering water at all according to whoever wrote that up. 
What are the side effects of activated charcoal? Activated charcoal is safe for most adults while when you short term side effects of activated include constipation and black stools. But I don't know if that's for filtering water. Like I said, this is just an introduction. So you're going to want to do more studying than this. They have a Brita Universal Whole House Carbon Wrap Two-Face Cartridge. You can buy that for fish tanks. So you can buy much of this at a pet store. How do you make a water filter with activated charcoal? You get activated charcoal, you have to rinse it. And some of them say to soak it for so long. Then you create your filter vessel, gather pre-filter materials, layer filter media, pour water into the filter to kill path do-it-yourself charcoal water filter instructions by Primal Survivor. Okay. Um, this one, it talks about strong type cation resin for hardness reduction. And where we live, the water is very hard. And even if we take the tap water and boil it, there's all these little white hard pieces in the water. Um, so we don't drink our water because of that. So you can buy something called cation resin for water softening, it says. It says it's a simple exchange function. The resin bead is negatively charged and attracts positive ions. So like I said, you might want to do further studying for something like this. I have a bag of this somewhere that I bought. So, because I feel like we need this. And I was going to do this video a couple of years ago, but I just never got around to it. Because I bought all this stuff to, for my husband to build water filters for the, and to build one for the whole house. But he's just, he's never done it. It's just sitting there. I don't know. So I decided I would break it up and do an introduction. So that you could see some of the things that you might be interested in. And putting in a water filter so that maybe you could do more studying on the different types of things. Because even when you go to look for what you might put in a water filter to build one, it's hard to know what different things there are when you're first doing it. You can't, it's hard to even know what your options are. And this one is one of my favorite options, so want to make sure I included that nylon water filtration mesh so they have different types of material and you can look online to see because some of them say that you should use this type of material and other ones say you should use this type of material and you can buy the different types of material online so you want to see what kind of material that you would like to use and which is better. So this just gives you, this just shows some of the options. Like I said, this is just an introduction. And then they have the fiber pad. And I remember reading somewhere something about cotton, but I didn't know if cotton would hold up. And I don't know which materials hold up the best. And some of these are for like aquarium filter pads. So when you look into aquariums and how they build filters, or when people have ponds and things like that, some of them might be filtering their water for certain reasons. So you can look into those types of things when you're doing research. And then we have this one. This is a, a sponge type foam, a foam filter that you can buy replacement materials for the filters. And I thought while you're doing a do-it-yourself filter, and you want to layer, if you're layering, you might want different types of material in your filter. And this gives you some options to look at so that you have ideas. And this right here is a micron spin down sediment filter. And I just think that if you're doing a whole house filtration system, 
that this is something that you might want to have. We have one of these because I thought that it's important to have one of these. And so, and you can find their different prices, but that's around what they cost. And they're reusable, so you can rinse them out and stuff like that, I guess, occasionally. But I just thought these were excellent, so I wanted to mention that as well. And then water test strips. And that's what you might could talk to your local health department worker and see what they say but I think that you can buy test strips or this something like that where you can test your water and maybe you can talk to someone that's an expert in your area maybe even at the water plant right but and then they have the five stage water filters and this right here says the this comes from Home Depot it's something they sell it says a five-stage water filtration includes this is just this one um, the sediment filter the carbon filter the carbon block filter a micron reverse osmosis membrane and post carbon filter so you can see they have different ones and some of them will list what type of things they use in them like this one right here it's sold on Amazon, and that one lists, it has the granulated act, activated carbon, the ion exchange resin, and the ion exchange resin was something that I showed you, ionic exchange resin, sorry, um, where did I show you that? That was, I believe this one, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Um, then it talks around the ceramic balls, which I haven't gone over, but you can look that up. Silica sand and mineral stones. So that gives you some more options to look at. And they also have, you can see there's different layers in between them to separate them. So, and there's something up there as well. So, it, and, and right here you can see step one is a micro ceramic filter dome. And it talks about that. Then it talks about the activated carbon and what that does. Then it talks about the ion exchange resin. Then it talks about the far infrared balls. Then it talks about the silica sand. The mineral sand. And mineral stones. So, and it has, see, that's in a little thing right there. So then we go here, and this is gravity water system mineral stones that they sell for $42. This one, another place that sells them that, that has them that talks more about it. mineral stones that last two years and it shows that they have them in the bottom of the their filtration system sitting there so I don't know I thought that one was really interesting and then this talks about science direct of too many web pages open and this shows um, a filtration system. So you can see osmosis. And it talks about what's in there. So. Thought I would show you that. Reverse osmosis membrane. Okay, and then we have Wikipedia. And Wikipedia says such systems typically include a number of steps for drinking water purification. A sediment filter to trap particles including rust and calcium carbonate. carbonate. 
optionally a second sediment filter with smaller pores, an activated carbon filter to trap organic chemicals, and chlorine, which will attract and degrade certain types of thin film composite membrane, a reverse osmosis filter, which is a thin film composite membrane, Option, optionally an ultraviolet lamp for sterilizing any microbes that might escape filtering by the reverse osmosis membrane. Optionally, a second carbon filter to capture these chemicals not removed by the reverse osmosis membrane. So you can also find information about this on in Wikipedia. And this right here, I wanted to show you because you see the screw down thing right here? Because we want to get, this is what I want. I want, we have some pieces around the house for it and I have like PVC and we have different sizes and what I want is to screw a cap on this end and then I want to layer that in there and then screw a cap on the other end and that way I can carry them with us and use them if I need to filter water and then I also want one to screw on to our pipes for our whole house so that we have a whole house filter with some of the things that are in there, but I want to, you know, test it out and run it. And I want to have layers of different kinds of material and the different things that we have. And some of it we bought from Amazon, some we bought from eBay, and some of the items we just went to a local pet store and got. But I just, that way we can have different filters to carry with us. And so I just wanted to show you that. And some people actually take apart their filters and look at them and then they redo them. I've read about that in other countries, how they do that to filter their water. They just take their filters, filtration system apart. They have it where they can take it apart and refill it. I don't know why I showed this again. But this one looks like it's just a three-part system, and it, but it, then it has this in the bottom as well. And it also has this right here and probably something up there, so I don't know. So this is your introduction to building your own water filters. Because when you go to try to find the information and what it means, you have to have terms. You have to know what you're looking for. And it's hard to do if you don't know what you're looking for, especially if you're just getting introduced to it and you're trying to figure out how to do it and you want to create your own filters instead of because they're rather expensive. And then you're trying to decide is, is it going to cost less and are you going to be able to make more filters and is it going to be easier if you buy the material separately and do it yourself and then you're like well how do I do it and what do I need so this just gives you an introduction of the different types of components that you could use in your own water filtration system and like I said I recommend that you look into the different types of fabrics and the different types of materials and you can even go on places like eBay or Amazon where they sell filters some of them have the ones where you just connect to the water faucet, uh, just a little screw-on thing that you can buy with different things. And some of them list what comes in them. So you can see, and something like this, some of these look like they would be easy to redo. And they also show where you can buy tea bags, the do-it-yourself tea bags with the um, I don't know, it's like a cheesecloth type of material or something. Anyway, I'm not sure exactly the f material that's in the do-it-yourself cheesecloth, where you can fill them with your material and use those, the little tea bag material, and fill that and use that for the water filter if you wanted to. And I was wondering, they have those metal um, little coffee filters that you put in your coffee pot where you boil your water and I was wondering maybe you could take that and layer one of those with the materials that you want to use for filtering your water and then pour the water through the coffee pot and have it layered in there but I was wondering how that would hold up and I'm not sure so that's just a thought 
because it seems like it would be so easy to do that and you'd be boiling the water right so I don't but like I said it's important to have the water strips and this is I'm not a professional so I've just been doing a lot of research of, about this over the last couple years and I thought well other people are probably interested in this and there's probably other people wondering what are they what could they do you know are there ideas out there so this like I said this is just an introduction to introduce you to the types of materials that are available and I do recommend that you consult a professional and get good water testing something that's really good for testing the water to see and we we took the water that was we took our tap water and we took our bottled water that we bought in bottles and we were comparing them with um, the water test strips with a grandchild who was interested in it so anyway please feel free to leave some comments and let me know if you enjoyed the video if it was helpful or if you have knowledge to share I would love to hear any knowledge that you have that you could share with us and thank you so much for tuning in have a great day bye bye